Okay, so, yeah, action. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about how to get your offer accepted in today's market. Um, this is, we're going to start high level because in the Dean Clark Group residency program, if you know how to think about it, the how of doing it becomes very easy. The first thing that we have to talk about is uh, pre-qualifying every single buyer lead that comes in. So why I'm saying pre-qualify, 100% you have to do it in today's market. Later on, and only focus on like two to three leads at a time. You know, we always have, like I saw what Teddy brought up, uh, Aggie, was um, you had like 18 follow-ups to do, yeah. right? And your follow-up boss, well, clearly the lead flow is coming in. But you need to be pre-qualifying every single one of those people. And you boil it down to like your top two or three. Okay? So like that's asking hard questions. Like go deeper on financial questions. Go deeper on their time frame. Wow. With that being said, in terms of like your order. So let's say I'm taking Aggie's like list as an example. You have 18 people right there, right? Okay. You boil it down. Now you're pre-qualified the best two to three that are absolutely like if I just find them a house, they're ready to go like within a moment's notice, right? It would be like a considered a perfect lead. Um, or there's no such thing as a perfect lead, but the lead that will most likely, the highest chance of you getting a contract written up and accepted uh, for that week. Number one to me is the, is the time frame. Timing, timing, timing is like to me everything. Are they in a rental, right? Do we know their situation? When do they want to move? You know what questions to ask for, far enough to know that they're going to transact or not? Are they at the high chance? That you, you have, at some point, you have to take it, kind of take that, 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 that like ball or that like, that like um, you know, uh, just that trust in yourself to know like, okay, I think I asked enough questions here. I'm going to take a chance and not following up with them for another month. Because right, we always have those deals. This is the, but David, you don't understand. Like I got, I got two deals this way and um, it was great, but I knew it was a little bit off script or it was a little bit off of the system, off of what I'm supposed to do, but I got it done. And I'm like, now I can pay my bills or, you know, or I could pay for like, you know, Zillow this month or whatever. He's like, okay, how many times can you do this? Can you duplicate that next month? And the, you know what I mean? Like that's what got me saying what I just said to you guys. It's like, so you have to at some point trust yourself enough to feel good about the questions you've asked to be like, okay, he, I'm not getting a good feeling on this guy. Just high level, I just want you guys to understand that, okay? And if you don't get the good feeling, I'm giving you permission to say next and go to the next home light lead, go to the next Zillow lead and keep calling as many fucking people as you can to uh, you know, get to the people that are actually ready to buy and have the capacity to do it. So time frame, you know, rental, we'll talk about how long they've been looking for. You know, That's just time frame, not physically like where they stand now. Do they own a property? Do they have to sell it? How long is that gonna take? Or do they understand like how long it takes to close if they do own a property or how long it generally takes to find a property in this market. Okay, referrals take precedence, but if their time frame, the caveat, right, referrals take with the caveat, you know, referrals are 100% number one. And that goes for rentals and sales. Like no matter what, you should always be calling them. If, they're, if you get a referral going forward, for either from me, from another agent source, um, or from wherever, a referral, is the highest quality lead you should be getting. Or would so, with that being said, um, it, it's, it's that you have to pre-qualify, do the same steps with every internet lead, but make sure that you're communicating with your referrals once a week. So write nothing going on. Even if they said to you, I'll check back with me within three weeks. You call them once a week with a freaking update on what's going on in the market. Yep, I know you told me three weeks, it's all good. I just wanted to share with you what I'm seeing in the marketplace because you know, things would be changing pretty fast. There was a property here. If you do that, you're providing value. That's what they want to hear from you on. There's, um, and going through the, the leads fast, right? So um, again, how to get the offer accepted. This is all really almost like you know, trickling down like the level of the hierarchy of how we're going to actually present the offer. But when I say go through fast, again, going back to the, your list of 18, Get through them fast. If, they're not, if they answer the questions and you pre qualify them, you talk to your referrals once a week and they're like, and don't keep, you know, don't like, you know, slow play it and be like, oh, maybe like one day they're going to be a buyer or like whatever. Just like remove, remove and just keep going. Basically, we're in the market where you have to find the buyers.
it sounds kind of kind of intuitive because there's so much coming in, right? There's so much lead flow coming in, but the problem is like other agents and other teams and everywhere else, they're not going to be pre-qualifying. They're not going to be um, finding the right buyers that are actually realistic about the market. What do they have to do? Hey, by the way, are you prepared to, you know, but, oh, you're not prepared or you haven't been talked to? Are you open to a buyer consultation? No, 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 not yet. I'm not. If, they're, if they keep saying no to everything and you're not getting any information, they're done. Go through fast. Boom, 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 boom. That, that's what I mean by go through fast. Stop, like, like, I feel like sometimes we try to coddle leads. And it's like, unless you're a referral, which then you should come back to me and say, this is the situation, what should I do? That's what I would do with a referral. If it's an internet lead, like a home light or a Zillow, or whatever else, I'm telling you, I'm giving you permission, get through that list fast. As long as you've done everything you can to pre-qualify and you've gone deep and they're still answering the good questions. Be like, okay, fine. You let me know when you're ready. Check off, done. You know, put the follow-up for three months from now.